What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we have a little bit of a different format of a video. Uh, we're gonna be filming someone else's car. It's not gonna be my 435i. Um, I'm kind of excited for this new type of format. Uh, let me know how you guys feel about that, if you like it or um, it, it, maybe not. We're gonna be meeting up with my buddy Greg. Um, he drives a 20, I believe it's 2016, 340i. Super clean type of OEM plus build that he's doing, but that car moves, man. It's really fast. I've tried to race it, um, it didn't go very well. It was pretty hard. We're gonna talk to him a little bit, talk about some of the mods he's done, you know, how he feels about, about his car, any, any future mods, things of that nature. Again, let me know what you think uh, about this style of video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, Greg's gonna talk to us a little bit about his, about his car, about some of the mods he's done, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go for a ride, uh, probably fill up and stuff a little bit, take some pictures, take some videos, and uh, yeah, so welcome, welcome to the channel. Okay. Beautiful car, 340i, right? What year is it again? So 2016, 340i, I'm extra with a six speed manual. We're gonna go ahead and uh, go to the gas station, fill up, and uh, I think I'm going on a little cruise, All right? Yeah. Yeah. AMG 340i. I know they're gonna do it. Can't resist it. <laughs> There's no way. Man's out here eating AMGs. <laughs> All right, so we're out here doing some chemistry. You wanna, you wanna tell us a little bit about what you're doing? All right, so I'm running an E30 mix, so I have to have 30% um, like ethanol, so it requires a little bit of mixture. So basically, I uh, pump some ethanol in here, I use a syringe, um, and I fill this up with both water and ethanol to the level. You mix it up, you shake it, you wait for a few minutes, and then it levels out and it tells you like, uh, what, what the percentage is, and then I'll go ahead and use my calculator, and then we'll do some math to figure out what the content is, but yeah. That's what makes math so fast. <laughs> if anyone ever told me, if you want a fast car to learn chemistry, we'll do, never, we'll do, never have known. Just use ethanol, that's it. That's yeah. it. Wow, that's cool. This is, since we're on the, on the Car Noob channel, and most of us here are Car Noobs, this is myself. included. Yeah, well, you know, C-Man's. How important would you say, you know, an ethanol mix is? and just being faster and stuff. Uh. Um, most cars love ethanol. If you're boosted, 100% are recommend like ethanol. If you're, if you're like naturally aspirated and you don't have, high, and you don't have like a high compression motor, uh, you won't make much gains. Um, but this little gains we had because ethanol just humor, so, so much more timing with it. Um, it's cooler, um, but you do lose some miles per gallon. So it's something to consider. Okay. Like if this is like your daily car, then you will see miles per gallon drop. Like, Kind of oh. significantly with, okay. with, with, like, with like an E85. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, got it. <clears throat> How much uh, did you have? Did, were you tuned before you went E30? I was on stage 291 with okay. reload, and then someone here said, dude, run ethanol, it's great, and then I haven't looked back. It's been like almost a year. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. And every time you fill up, you gotta. I do test it every single time I fill up. Okay. Yeah, and so right. that's the past cool. like, like nine months or so. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's that's really cool. That's uh, we're gonna we're gonna kind of observe here what yeah. what's going on. Um, so I just filled up. Um, so there's a water line here. Okay. So I filled that up pretty close to that water line, like pretty okay. getting close. Uh, and the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pump about four cents of ethanol into this beaker, and then I'm going to just um, take this syringe and fill it up to this other fuel line, 
we, um, this other fuel line at the top here, we're gonna mix it, uh, shake it, and then you'll see the ethanol and the water um, like separate, and that will tell us like where the ethanol percentage is. All right, cool. Yeah. Just use the syringe, and this takes a couple times. This is a smaller one, so it only takes a couple. So you, we we ought to get most of that in one go here. And then this next one, um, pretty accurate here. About there, perfect. So we got my fuel line pretty dang close to that, that line there. Wow. Yeah. Put the cap on. So that tells you that it's E85. Yeah, so basically you just want to fill up the water to here and then the fuel to here. And I then see. we close the cap real, real tight here, make sure we don't have any leaks. And then we give it a good shake. And it takes about two or three minutes for it to dissolve, or for it to like, to okay. separate. So I just kind of yeah. wait it out. So this one's pretty close to 85. Yep, always is usually. So now that I had a measure, I like to do some HSC math here. So I already kind of have my HSC set up. Basically, you have one part fuel, um, one part ethanol, and this is how much you want to fill up. My tank size is 50.8. I have about a little more than a quarter tank, so I need to fill up with less than that. So I'll do like 2.7. Um, regular pump gas is usually, is usually like 10%, so we do that number alone. Today we measured exactly at a 0.85, so we change that number. Oops, 0 0.85, oh, 0.85. And then this is your target ethanol. Um, this is in gallon, so I want to target 33%. And 33% of what I'm going to fill up, 1106. So that tells me I need 3.6498 gallons of ethanol compared to 11 point, um, sorry, I guess we'll see that later on, but yeah, that's... This is the Sweet. matrix math right now, and then second matrix math reduce row let, uh, REF, and then you just put in your matrix, and boom, the top right number is how many gallons of 91 or pump fuel, and the bottom right number is how many gallons of E85 to get your E33 mix. Um, pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. Take the thinking out of that game, right? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So in terms of like power, I guess, what would you say? like your gains would be from like not doing E85, just doing regular, you know, 91 octane. I would say the difference was pretty significant. Was it? Pretty night and day. Um, I would say like butt dyno wise, like another 10% horsepower. So it's pretty significant. That is pretty good, yeah. Um, cars that you would be like, like even with or just barely using to, now you're kind of walking in. So that's right. like a difference there. Uh, yeah, like this car walked. <laughs> That car. <laughs> so. That car's still quick, man. <laughs> yeah, compared to other cars. <laughs> you always want to do ethanol first. Okay, so mix is better in the tank because you're going to pour more of the 91 or that 93 then. That makes sense. It's on today. If you have a BMW, there's like a spot to put this on. Most cars have this, not just Most BMW. cars have this, he says. I'm going to walk over to my car now and see if I've just been doing it wrong. I just let it, let it hang, you know? A few moments later. What do you know? Learn something every day. Today we learned many new things. We learned what it takes to, to mix the 85 to make your car go super fast. So then, it, you know, let's say you wanted to go just full 85, right? You have to get a high pressure fuel pump, right? Yeah, it depends on, on your car. Um, right. For my car, most of the late F model BMW, um, it's mostly gonna be a high pressure fuel pump. Okay. And then at a certain point, um, your low pressure fuel pump will need to be upgraded okay. as well. And then injectors eventually. So like, depending on how far you wanna go, is basically like, you know, how far you upgrade your fueling wise. Um, my goal was 500 wheel horsepower for that. I just need like the super pump. Right. And, and th the stock turbo will roughly get me there. I'll probably drop in a stage one turbo, like a Vargas turbo uh, GC, but other than that, yeah.
we're cruising here. So uh, yeah, you want to tell us what makes this this fast and sound this way? It's very slow. Uh, it's very slow, he said. <laughs> but it's running boot mode, stage two, um, running, running like the E30 map. Um, it's pretty just basic full, full bolt on. I have the BMS intake. I also have a 5 inch catted DS1 downpipe that is like a mission compliant, doesn't throw a code even without the setting turned on. Um, and then AW exhaust. Um, that's basically it. So all you need to just run um, like, like the stage sheet map for the B58 engine. So. Oh, and you you dynoed it, right? The dyno on a Mustang dyno, it made 4, 439 horsepower and 517. I'm a pound feet of torque, so. And that's a Mustang Dyno, Mustang which dyno, yeah. usually does a little bit less a little than like a than Dyno Jet. Yeah. Okay, right. cool. Did you you did a you did a, a baseline Dyno as well, like I when did, it was stock? I did do a baseline. Um, I got first run was 333 horsepower, 375 pound feet. Second run was 344 horsepower and 355 pound feet. So roughly okay. I gained 100 horsepower and about 150 pound feet of torque. That's from, pretty... from stock to ethanol team. So that's wow. that's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. That's a good. That's a good amount. Yeah. What are some of your plans? What are you plan to do with it? Um, next step will probably be a high pressure fuel pump upgrade from the Supra slash the MP40i. Um, that will run me the stage two plus E30 mat with boot mode. Okay. Um, a lot more, uh, a lot more mid range uh, torque. Um, people have been pushing like close to 500 on that. So. Wow, Hoping that's to see intense. What I do, like on the Mustang Dyno, yeah, wow. and after that, um, I'll go with the upgraded um, like heat exchanger. Um, may do a turbo blanket to keep the heat trapped in because I'm about to move to Texas, um, and that's about it for the rest of this year. Probably coilovers, maybe. We'll see how the budget looks, but yeah. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, we'll have to make a trip out to uh, out to Texas to yeah. film it again once it's you know pushing those 800 horsepower or something <laughs> like that, right? Right, right, yeah. Awesome, man. That's really cool. Um, yeah, we're gonna do a little bit more, a little ride along or something like that, okay. um, and just kind of see how it feels, how it sounds from the inside, and uh, yeah. That's really not that loud in here. That's crazy. That's why y'all like it's loud. I'm like where? Because <laughs> I don't. Wow, that's. You hear it, but it's not like, dude. Outside, that's it's really not bad. Outside, it's it's just pretty loud. Yeah. That's why I never really realized how loud my car is. So tell me, what's your what's your favorite thing about the car? Oh man, what do you like the most? I think the way it sounds. The way it sounds, hands down. Um, the, that I, sounds awesome. I owned the car for two two and a half years. Okay. Um, before it got tuned. Okay. And it was full bolt-ons. You know, it's an intake downpipe and exhaust. Okay. And I had a ton of fun with the car. Yeah. Just from rolling through the gears and listening to the exhaust. And the stock BMW tune is very verbally poppy. Actually, more aggressive now than it is with the boot mode. Yeah. Um, through tunnels, it was like, da -da -da -da, it was like, you know, like gunshot. Like someone's literally shooting like AK-47. That's great. Um, That's awesome. And you know, me just stock, just running around. And, and, and the car was still plenty fast stock. Um, so yeah, even though this car didn't have the power, I would still like to just roll through the gears and right, hear right, the exhaust. Right. Just, yeah. So something you also did was the M Sport package, right? right. The M Sport the, trim kind of thing. We did so exterior and some of the interior bits. We did some in the interior as well. So anyone who's watched the videos on the channel and kind of seen my interior, uh, Greg's interior was kind of the same, mm -hmm. pretty much the same. Exact same. Yeah. Um, it had the uh, the other steering wheel, not the M Sport, and just the regular analog cluster. So. <clears throat> He's actually done some upgrades in here as well. The DM Sport steering wheel and 6WB digital cluster, which yeah, that change. looks really cool. Right. And you can change it so it'll kind of change the theme, the color. GoPro here, converts, and then we have the Sport, and then Sport Plus just. Wow, that looks really cool. I know in the beginning you were like, it's, it was a bit of a gimmick kind of thing, <laughs> right? You like it though? Yeah, at first because of the uh, the cost, but now that I've had it, um, like you said, it does make the car feel like a 2020. Yeah. Um, yeah. No regrets. Yeah, that's that's amazing. I mean, that's it's a bit pricey for sure. It's a pricey upgrade, <laughs> but um, it's great. You also have CarPlay here. Yeah. We did the same thing. Yeah. The MMI box. The GoPro gets some good. So good, love it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, man, this car is a lot of fun. The B58, man. Make a believer out of you. <laughs> Other than those performance mods, uh, some of the stuff you've done is uh, you changed how it looks a little bit, right? Right, we've done the, uh, the M Sport kit on the outside here, um, okay. front bumper, um, the front lift, side skirts, and rear bumper. Uh, also, rear split on there as well. Okay. Just to make it a little more aggressive looking. Yeah, because it was just uh, sport line, right? It was just basic sport line. Yep. We didn't have any of that, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of how, how mine was as well. Mm -hmm. uh, fun fact, actually. Greg and I met um, at a car meet, so it was my first car meet ever. Um, and he was just there with another four, uh, four series. Um, and I remember seeing his car and being like, oh, like that looks, that looks really good and stuff. But I noticed it wasn't like M Sport. Mm -hmm. And then he started it up and drove away. And it sounded the way he drives. I was like, what in the hell is that? And then like, yeah, we linked up on Facebook. He was like, yeah, man, I like that sleeper and stuff. And uh, yeah. yeah, eventually, eventually he got the M Sport as well. No more sleeper. Uh, no more sleeper. <laughs> I still, I think it looks, it looks, it looks awesome, man. I appreciate that, man. It looks awesome. So anyway, thanks again for joining us in the video on the channel. Thanks um, for having me, man. Yeah, of course, anytime. Had to, uh, had to get a little video before you move away at least. Oh, yeah. So that way we have, we have a memory of this, <laughs> yeah. of how it was. Uh, and then I'm sure as you do more, we'll, we'll, we'll link up. Yeah, we'll link up again. Again, thanks, thanks guys for watching. Um, please like, share, and subscribe as always. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.